Welcome to episode 17 of Quantity Surveying Program. As you know, we are working on a villa project by covering all the aspects. In the previous episode, we have covered quantity takeoff for earthwork, for concrete, foam work, steel and masonry, etc. Plus the rate and material analysis of each item. And today we're going to talk about quantity takeoff for windows, door and handrail. How to measure the quantities from the drawing, how to follow the NRM2 new rules of measurement and how to prepare the BOQ and fill the quantities in it. This is our topic. I hope you will learn a lot and enjoy this video. So without any delay, let's get started. On the screen right now you can see drawing which is open in plan sweep software and on the right side the BOQ which is prepared by following NRM2. How exactly we prepare this BOQ? How to type the right text, this information and all the detail? How do we know it's number or something else? So see you can refer to NRM2 new rules of measurement and you can download the document the link is in the description. So you can see NRM2 says 23 is the windows in this description I have typed it. Similarly number 24 doors. So this information is followed by NRM2. Fine. So this is how I prepare the BOQ by following the document. Now we learn how to get the quantities. It's very simple especially for the door and windows. The takeoff is easy. But when we talk about rate and material analysis, there we have to understand the technology behind. So this episode is easy, but I will recommend you to stick to this QS program. In the very next video, you will see how we can consider the labor, machinery, equipment and contractors overhead, etc. So let's start by number 23. Here we have to get all the quantities of windows and you have to fill the available window type and you have to mention the sizes as well. If you are wondering how to get this information exact size and type so you can refer to specification and drawing. So the drawing here I have door and window opening shed door here I have all the available information. So the size I have mentioned here the window type I have mentioned. So it's easy. Firstly, you have to mention the details about each window. Once you mention it, the next task is easy. You have to simply mention the total quantity. So in my door and window opening schedule, it's easy because the quantity is also given. But let's say if you don't have this one, so you can refer to the drawing, ground floor and first floor and you can count manually how many window one are available, how many window two are available. But here the task is a lot easier because the detail is given so I simply need to type here in the BOQ. So window type 1 it's 2 number, window type 2 it's 1. So similarly I have to mention the detail. Once I type the quantities here the task which was windows quantity it's done. It was very simple. Again the quantity takeoff for window and doors are easy because just the number. But the main technology, the concept, the thought process is in all in rate calculation, rate and material analysis when you have to consider each and every factor. So stick to this program, you will learn a lot. Moving forward, the next one is doors. Here it's mentioned 24. How we know it's number 24? Again, it's NRM2 document. Just open it, you will get all the information. So the doors are number 24, fine. Now which type of door? Is it door set or only the normal door? So we have to segregate accordingly. You see here, if it's a shutter door, if it's different type, all mentioned here. But in our project, we have only door set and the door. So I've segregated accordingly. If it's door set, then it's 24.1, which you can see here. If it's only a door, then 24.2. Then which type of door we have to state? Is it aluminium? Is it timber or glass door? We have to state in a drawing. What is the size? What is the reference? We have to mention. So this information we have to fill it. It's not only the quantity that we have to type here. Who will fill the BOQ? What is the concept behind? So see now following the drawing I have mentioned aluminium doors are its door set. I have mentioned firstly its door set. 
secondly the sizes by following the door and window shade door and third the reference okay so this information once we fill it in a boq the next task is easy which is total quantity how many d1 are there how many d2 okay if it's aluminium firstly keep it separate if it's a timber door wooden keep it separate similarly doors uh, glass doors okay fine so let's follow the quantity uh, we have d1 how many one again if you don't have the door and window schedule where the quantities are given of course you can depend on the ground and first floor drawing where all the details are given maybe you can count the quantity of doors from there okay so let's just fill the boq quickly once i fill all the quantity so door set aluminium type task is done what is next timber doors okay so i have segregated timber doors are d3 and d4 fine how do i know by the way either it's a timber door or aluminium check the description check the specification you will find all the details there it's not from your side it's by following the details which is given in specification okay so door three two number door four three number now the door set we have only for aluminium and timber this task is done what is next the glass door fine glass door we have only for the kitchen so the quantity of ad1 which is here one number by following this quantity here a task for door is also done again it was simple because it was only the takeoff which is number more details we'll learn in the next episode when we talk about how many labors are required how much machinery and the material and the overhead of contractor everything we'll talk about in the coming episode so this is done Number 25 is staircase railing and balustrade. How we know it's 25 and why it's 25.7 and 8? Just open the NRM2, you will find all the detail. So we have to measure this and if you don't have 1, 2, 3, so you can skip here because these things I don't have in my project so I don't need to measure. But I do have balustrade and handrail for the staircase. So this is why this number comes 7 and 8. Fine. Now the unit, NRM2 says balustrade and handrail either you can mention in a BOQ in a meter or in a number. How exactly in number? Again this thing we'll talk about in rate and material analysis but here I'm going to provide the quantity in meter here. So unit and information about the text I have get it from the NRM2. Now about quantities we have to depend on the drawing. So balustrade information glazing height we have to mention by following the drawing so for the balustrade we are going to depend on the drawing i have it here we just need the quantity i'm using a plan swift so it's a lot easier for me here we need a total length right okay linear this is the name press ok and the length we need from here to there in the terrace right click and stop you can see the total quantity is 7.1 meter if you have other terrace and the balcony of course you can highlight there but we got the total quantity so the task is done number 25.8 is staircase handrail so we have to get the total quantity of handrail in meter so i have the drawing here for the staircase but i cannot get the quantity from the floor plan because this handrail is in a slope and the floor plan will not give us the accurate quantity so we may need to depend on a section drawing or the separate staircase detail drawing from where we can get the total quantity unfortunately i don't have much detail here for the staircase but i'll give you the example i'm depending on a, a section drawing to help you to understand so now i'm going to measure the total quantity of staircase handrail by the help of plan shift so i click here linear staircase handrail press ok and simply you need to highlight again i don't have the actual drawing but i'm just giving the example how it's supposed to be measured so once you highlight stop you can see here the total quantity is here it's almost the same as balustrade it's uh, there's no formula behind if you adjust it will affect and if you are still confused how plan suit is linking with excel sheet and transferring the values there so you need to understand the software plan suit. I have uploaded the video already for plan shift training. You can find it in a playlist or refer to my channel. Very first video plan shift tutorial. It will help you to understand. So back to our topic. We have to get the total staircase handrail. If you have two staircase, you have to get the quantity similarly. Here in my plan, I have only one staircase. I have highlighted. 
but there is another uh, two steps at the back door we have to get the quantities from there as well here again i don't have the proper details of the staircase so here i'm going to measure this is the total quantity i have added you can see the quantities are increased so main concept is wherever the staircase handrail is you have to highlight in a meter and you have to type it in the boq so by filling the quantities in a boq our task is done so this was the quantity takeoff for door, window and handrail etc. It was the easiest quantity takeoff we have done till now in our QS project. If you want to practice, I have already given the link in the description. You can download directly from there. You will find the drawings, BUQ and NRM2 for your practice. Second, if you really like the video, don't forget to share your feedback in the comments. And in the last, if you have any question or doubt, feel free to contact me on any social media, LinkedIn, Facebook or Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, see you in the next video.